is up? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. And today, guys, what we are going to be going over is going to be none other uh, than our good old friend, the High Capacity Warlord here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've not really used this gun uh, all that much uh, since this game came out. I, we did a showcase on it uh, almost two months ago now. But uh, we haven't really uh, played with it too, too much. It was, uh, in that video, I was actually, you know, relatively uh, impressed with this thing. I thought, uh, thought this probably was pretty, pretty good. Uh, you know, if you do want to go farm for it, uh, it's a world drop. Or you can go farm uh, Ability Anointed located in the Jacob's Estate over on Eden 6. Uh, if you want to farm for it, you know what I'm saying. Uh, guess guaranteed uh, high capacity prefix. It's a 30% chance to not consume ammo. And it's always full auto. So yeah, uh, for most players, this gun is going to be really good. It's going to be a definitely a big time bullet hose for sure, for sure, for sure. Especially with combining it with a 30% chance to not consume anything. Uh, you're definitely not going to need anything like Iron Bank. You're not going to need some for the road or forge. So we just decided to put the, uh, some of the points in redistribution. We got our max portrait and papers. And we just got down to Specialist Bear. Mainly because I do love my hammer down protocol, baby. That is, that is, that is, that is. My favorite dog for IV, homie. Um, and then here is our silver retribution tree. Mainly just want to get down into the extra measures. Um, and then here is our demolition woman tree. Uh, pretty standard, man. I mean, the demolition woman tree is just so gosh darn good. You get so much bang for your buck with a lot of these skills. So, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, real quick, uh, let's show y'all that we do. We're going to be rocking our old god here. Now, we are going to be running a half life blast master for a bit. You know what I'm saying? However, if we uh, go down a little bit, I will always pull out uh, our blood letter right here. That way we can get a little bit uh, more usage and uh, not be so so limited to having, uh, you know, only, I think, what, yeah, 7,600 HP. So if we uh, if we start going down a lot, I will switch off of this. But I want to use this one because of its crit damage and assault rifle damage. Uh, as long as the IBs uh, help, it'll definitely uh, be really, really useful for sure. But, uh, yeah, guys. Anyways, with, other, with all that stuff put out the way... Uh, let's just go ahead, guys, and let's just get right into the video. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right, you guys. So, we are over here now um, in the uh, garden thing down side of things. And, uh, yeah, dude, we're, you know, well, we're not going to reload probably all through this video. You know, we, we've had a few of those uh, situations go down now where, you know, we're playing on the Mosey Mos, and then, you know, we don't have to worry about reloading because, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like this thing will probably do uh, pretty well in here. Uh, I feel like this thing will perform just good overall. Uh, just because, you know, we are going to be running 5150. So we got the UVAD and we do have uh, fire along with the fire old god stuff like that. I mean, we're going to click flesh enemies and stuff like that when we're on those for fuck's sakes. Um, oh, hello, dude. I love that. Yeah, I really do feel like whenever Mayhem 11 drops, though, I probably will play a lot on Mayhem 11. I might have to say goodbye to my speed demon just so I don't have to worry about any, any other, like, annoying, like, things like buddy system or free tag or lasers or stuff like that, dude. Yeah, dude, those freeze tags, man. Mm. Mainly just because, like, it'd be super annoying because you get you, you gotta sit there and keep re-rolling and re-rolling because you can't preset your own modifiers, which is like, you know, that'd be the that'd be the best way. I don't know why they don't like add that type of system into the game. But uh, oh well, I don't make it. I just I just play it. You know what I'm saying? Also, dude, you know, today is Tuesday, so we are gonna have. Uh, well, we're about a week away now. Uh, from both big contents for both uh, Destiny 2 and Borderlands 3, which is very, very awesome. Next Tuesday is going to be pretty fucking hype, and I cannot wait for it. I am here. I am here for it, dude. I can't fucking wait. It's going to be so much fun, man. <coughs> now, I know Borderlands does have another DLC. Um, let's see. This one, this fifth DLC is going to be the director's cut, I think, is what, it, is what they're calling it, right? And because we got to get uh, season, season pass two and all that good stuff and all that good jazz. I need to get me a PS5 just so I can freaking play, or just so I can move all my Borderlands, uh, like, PlayStation account over to that one. Because, man, oh, man, dude. Uh, the, more, the more they add stuff to this game, the uh, harder my, my shitty uh, PS4 is going to struggle with this poor thing. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. Uh, let me know what console you guys are uh, getting. Maybe maybe you're not getting a new console, bro. Maybe you're getting, like, a PC or some stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
I personally do believe that like like trying to build yourself a PC is definitely the way, bro. Just because like you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck with, uh, with getting it, uh, yourself a computer. Uh, you, you can just do a lot more with it, and you can like update it like over time rather than having to wait for a uh, for a company to make an entirely new system for you to buy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, dude. I, I just think I just think that uh that that's uh, like the way to go. But you know, some people you know might be a little intimidated by a PC, might not want to like you know, learn how to get all the parts for it, might be too, too expensive for some people. That's what the console definitely uh, you know, is. I can't believe that the PS4 and Xbox One have been out for literally uh, pushing seven years now this year, this month. I was in eighth grade when these consoles came out, and I was like so, like so shocked. Like, wow, we're gonna get new consoles finally, man. Because the 360 and the PS3, those things came out when I was like five years old, so I don't really even I don't remember them coming out. I remember the Xbox One and PS4 coming out, so seeing them getting replaced, man, it's like, oh man, time really to be flying. But uh, yeah. <laughs> decided to hop over to the slaughter shaft um you know i think these enemies do begin to be a little, little head bro. Oh, I, i'd be saying this all the time bro the vladov rocket launchers that the enemies have inside of here they do be hidden different they like they they really are some bruises with those things man especially if you're running like a half-life setup or some stuff like if you're running a half-life flag bro the slaughter shaft is like definitely not the place to come to bro it's like they can one shot you pretty consistently and it can kind of get uh, a little bit annoying you know what i'm saying bro see <laughs> Sit down. dude i really wish that i really wish that moses four skill tree had a rescue bear man i mean I'm, that's something i've been harping on for like i, I want to say like around like eight months now like that tell me that wouldn't be a good idea though like rescue bear so like you could allow you know your cub bear or your iron bear to you know come and pick you up It'd be a great idea, dude. Because, like, no, uh, Moses is the only Vault Hunter where she doesn't have, like, a friend, an AI friend to, uh, to pick her up or anything. You know, like, Flack has his pet. Omara has a Guardian Angel, and Zane has, uh, Old You. At least a form to get picked up. Moses doesn't have anything. <laughs> Moses doesn't have jack shit to, uh, to pick her up. If she goes down and there's no enemies to pick her up, uh, you better hold that square button, buddy, because you're not getting picked back up. Um, <laughs> like, you're not. So, uh, Better, better hope you're, there's something to kill. Dude, this thing is putting in some mad work, bro. I I really love assault rifles on those, man. Especially fire ones, dude. Fire and Moe's is so good. No fire guy can be like that, bro, I swear. Um, did she just do cry and push me, bro, while I'm down? I'm trying to tell you, bro, this thing got knocked back and they hit like a truck. Me have a good old IB hammer down protocol, baby. Skadoosh! Do love my, I do love myself some hammer downs, bro. Alright, we're gonna get rid of this third uh this third health bar. Or this three health bar badass, and then we're gonna go move on over. Or we're gonna get down. Or we're gonna get pegged back up. You know what I'm saying? IB like that. Thank you, IB. Appreciate that, homie. Alright, let's go and keep this puppy moving, boys. Alright, fellas. So we are over here back back at our favorite spot in the game. Good old mountain. Now, uh, we might struggle a little bit uh, doing damage to some of these armor enemies just because you know, we're using double resist uh, elements, fire, not uh, radiation. We don't have any cryo on. I um, really need to get myself an updated cryo way to see front loader do it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, bro, I mean, this gun uh, has relatively been performing pretty well throughout this video, at least in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Radiation do be hidden different sometimes. I do love radiation, bro. Probably my favorite element in the game. Uh, I, as I said, dude, we're not gonna reload in this video at all. I mean, the Warlord, it, first, it has a high chance, it has a high mag size, and it has a 30% chance to not even get some ammo. It's pretty fucking awesome. Combine that with being on Mo's and two in redistribution with the Blastmaster. Yeah, dude, we're gonna be big, 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 chilling. Also, you know, the Blastmaster goes really well with a gun like this, because, you, you know, we'll, we'll have that 100% uh, splash damage basically up for almost the whole time. Is we're never gonna reload, we're never gonna reset the buff, which is very, very, very nice. You know, I do love having some extra splash damage, you know what I'm saying, bro, man? Also, Jetpack Commando, you do gotta sit down uh, for being annoying and toxic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, oh god, dude. The fucking them frame spikes really do be hurting my soul. 
or the frame dips. All right, let's go. Let's go fuck up this cracker, dude. Screw this cracker, man. Yeah, you might you might have armor, but it's all good, dude. I'm gonna brute force my way through. I'm brute forcing, man. There we go, warlord. There we go. Big moves. Well, not big moves, but you know, we're we're just we're just down in the cracking, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Ladies and gents, so we're over here at the other bridge side of things. And uh, yeah, we're over here. We're gonna put in some work. Try and sit some of these puppies down. Let's see if they're actually built for which you know let's face it, they're not built for this. They can't handle the truth. That is the uh, the high capacity warlord, you know what I'm saying? Remember guys, this thing always drops with the high capacity for the fix. So uh, yeah, basically a lot. It's kind of like the same thing with like the speed load now walker. How the, like the Hellwalker walker always had the same prefix. Now that being said, I, I don't know if this gun's uh, like rolled or stat or like static, but uh, I mean at least the prefix. Uh, you don't have to worry about like having a far forty. Uh, sit down. Uh, badass goes right now. I really love when you can get like a bottomless mag, gun, well, like when you can go like infinite shooting with a weapon and you don't even have to like put that much effort into it. Like this gun, you don't have to put hardly any effort into it at all, dude. And it's and it's gonna shoot forever. Like it's gonna shoot forever. Just literally two and redistribution, that's all we need. And we haven't even uh, been struggling all that much. Like I've not had to switch over to the uh, the butt letter like I thought we might have to. Which is uh, definitely a good thing for sure, for sure. Uh, not having to worry about that crap of garbage. The only thing we're having to worry about really is our uh, our frames dying out of nowhere for a few seconds because of uh, you know we're we're on console like that. You know what I'm saying, bro? Oof, God. Oof, to, oof. To. <laughs> I mean, overall though, dude, I feel like the Warlord is definitely one of the better uh, vanilla uh, assault rifles in the game. <sighs> this thing is definitely better than my my good old Lucian's call, man. Oh, that that thing's buff. Oh, Lucian's Pushin's, bro. I love that gun. I love that gun too, man. Uh, so it was a Rowan's call, dude. The Rowan's call is it's, it's kind of sucks how bad it is. <laughs> you know? Like, I mean, even with, like, trying to brute force and make that thing good, it, like, you can make it okay, but, like, fam, I, I, I knew, thought that gun could be better, you know what I'm saying? I thought it would be a little bit better if you, you know, try and go all the way with it. Good rolled calm and everything. Ooh. Uh, also, sit down. So I'm sure you're going to smoke. Alright guys, I guess I'll just go ahead and cut over to the uh, Wotosh Photon. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright fellas, we're here at the Wotosh Photon Smackdown of the Century. Uh, we'll probably be here a little bit longer uh, than some other videos just because, you know, we are using literally fire and radiation, so we're, we're going against the grain here. Uh, we're fighting Wotosh to say the least. So I mean, we're going to try and brute force our way through his armor, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. If, if, if I feel like we're getting a little bit uh, radical and uh, wrecked, I will 100% pull out a Breath of a Dying, man. I do have that assault rifle on the back strap, just in case, man, if Oton thinks he's some hot shit or something, because I'm just going to let you know right now, Oton. Just because you can defend against uh, against my warlord doesn't mean you can defend against everything, homie. Oh, jeez, this thing's taking forever. <laughs> that took forever to get down the shield, dude. Jeez, that was the first phase of Oton. So, you know what, dude? Let's, uh, let's... What do you guys say we uh, speed up the process, huh? What, what do you guys say we speed up the process, you know? I don't, I don't think there's nothing wrong with speeding up the process, you know? Just gonna, just doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Just playing some Borderlands. You know, you, know, you know what I'm trying to say, brother, man? You know what I'm trying to say? You know, you know. We're still using a dull assault rifle. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> just going right back out, look right to the left, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Really wish I could, you know, all right, well, we, okay. Really loving my, uh, com my PS4 really just sort of sh bites the dust. All right, dude, oh, man, I wanted to, okay. I at least wanted to get, to kill him with the Warlord. Also, I didn't, I, sometimes, guys, I ain't gonna cap. Whenever, like, we're shooting potatoes at, you know, at, like, a void, and we're not doing anything, we're not filling up that void or anything, but I just want to, I just want to end it. I will pull out a, a very effective weapon just to just to sit him down, oh, bro. Uh, also, let me uh, take the brain down real quick. Uh, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Oh, Battle Wolf. Uh, I don't even want to look at your ugliness. All right, guys. Well, that is going to just wrap up the video. Let's go ahead, quick look, take a quick look at the better setup. Old God, but uh, we did not have to switch the blast master at all, which is pretty fucking nice. 
Uh, then we have our Pearl here with Max out of the Fire Rate, along with our CMT. Uh, and then here's our Chittle Retribution Tree, along with our Bomba Smags. And then most of our points go into the Woman Tree. Gotta get that extra amounts of damage on me. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up the video. Hope y'all did enjoy. If y'all did enjoy the video, then make sure to drop your love like button and subscribe if y'all are new. I'm going to go to 6,000 subscribers. So if y'all like Daily Portal, make sure to subscribe. So that's what we do. Anyways, guys, my name's Trey. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.